dropout. The resume is full of fluff. What can you do with your resume if you're a college dropout and you don't have any real work experience? A summary like this doesn't say anything. It just shows a diploma, however they've dropped out of college. We have skills which show a volunteer, animal shelter, and a communal farm volunteer, and some hobbies and interests. Overall, this resume is very sparse, so what do you do in a situation like this? Before you work on the resume, take some time to think about what you would like to do. You're on your own journey. You just need to know where you would like to go. And some people live day to day and, and that is whatever. If that brings them peace, then so be it. However, if you have ambition and you want to do something with your life, it's best to know what the end goal is. Know where you want to end up and then you can trace your way backwards to where you want to be. Once you do that, then you can begin to pursue certifications, get volunteer experience, and develop real skills. If money is needed in the between time, we'll need to take on low-level work. Now, if you're good with people, you could get into sales. Sales doesn't necessarily require education or a special skill. It just requires you to be very passionate about your product, to love your product, and to love people, ideally, if you want to be ethical and be able to communicate. There's also factory work, labor work, the military. If you have no idea what to do with your life, kind of get you into ship shape. So first of all, no no fluff in a resume. Never fluff the resumes. It's just, it's weak. If you're gonna have a summary, it should focus on the value that you provide to the company. And so what can you offer? Is it curiosity? Is it the ability to learn quickly? Then so be it. Is it some level of expertise or something that, that you have studied that doesn't show up on the resume otherwise? Then highlight that. Otherwise, don't have a summary. Normally, you don't need a high school diploma. It usually is expected. For an education entry, we wouldn't normally say pursuing an undergraduate degree. We would simply state the degree, the university, and the date. If you are currently studying, you can show current. If you drop out, then you can show a range of dates that'll indicate that you dropped out. And if you graduated, you only need to show the month and year of your graduation. And then skills, these are not skills, this is volunteer experience. So we would change this to volunteer experience. We would reverse the usage of the bullet points. So the top level information, this volunteer, the name of the animal shelter, and the range of dates. If it's two years of volunteer experience, that's a, that is something. This person has some experience if they've been volunteering regularly for two years. And then we would use bullets here to highlight those big accomplishments. Even in volunteering work, there are big accomplishments. How many animals did you take care of at a time? How much did you have to manage? What was the workload like? Did you help increase efficiency or save money or make money? And then as a volunteer, you're probably not making money or saving money, saving money by them not having to pay someone. Communal farm, farm work's not easy either. So there's a lot of, of labor that goes into this. This person looks like they did computer skills rather than basic computer skills, which everyone should have these days, uh, at least anyone who wants to enter the workforce. Focus on what you did do, you manage books. Did you write documents? Did you create a press release? Like name those big themes rather than just like surface level things that anyone can do. Hobbies and interests is, is usually more fluff in the resume. The only value this brings is on the off chance that the hiring manager, or the recruiter is also interested in these things and they just want to get to know another person who is also interested in these things and, and that helps you get a leg up. You know, it's kind of weak. Suppose the, the theme here of interest is the interest in supporting the environmental advocacy groups. So here this is an indicator that maybe this individual should seek work with like a Sierra Club. Look and see what is required to do work for an organization such as that. Catering assistant, and if you want to cater, get a job as a, a catering assistant. That's just kind of the, the lower level entry roles. So that's a place to start. And values the responsibility of caring for animals. And we get that from the volunteers, so we probably don't need to say that. When you're just beginning, Crafting a resume can be very difficult, or if you haven't been in the workforce for a long time, and now maybe you raise children, and now they're all moved out and you're looking for work, it can, be, it can be difficult. So one thing you can do is you can work on getting certifications. You can do that from home. You can do that at a community college, whatever your choice is. You can build projects. So the other thing is to work on your portfolio. This person is not technically minded, 
there may be some type of portfolio that they can create. For example, they're interested in working with environmental agencies. Put together a report about environmental agencies. Put together a report about the work of environmental agencies and in the area of your specific interests. And you can highlight work that's being done and work that could be done or what the future trajectory is. You can look into the future and make predictions about what the needs of the industry will be in the near future. You can produce a few types of those reports and this can show employers that you are actively thinking on this subject and that you have the skills that they are looking for. At the very least that you're actively thinking and this can go a long way in showing the employer that you're a candidate that's worth talking to. Keep in mind that the only goal of the resume is to get an interview. You can talk to the hiring manager. Send me a resume that redacts the personal information and I'll be happy to make a review for you. If you want more resume reviews, check out this link here. If you would like more videos about career development, then check out this selected video just for you. I'm JP Miller. See ya.